Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and the Black Cat's Keno, what are you doing round here? I thought it was somebody giving us some abuse because people was going around in the cars giving the postman abuse and all that. What have they been doing like singing Postman Pat? Postman Pat and sticking, <laughs> sticking the fingers up at them and just laughing at them. I've got one question for you Keno, right. can Phil Patton and his team do what you do every day and deliver? What's your score prediction? Someone's going to win 1-0, I'll tell you what, I'm bloody freezing. Are you freezing? Yeah, I think 1-9 will score and we win 1-0 because uh, I've got a feeling the wind will spoil it. I've just got uh, a warm up. <laughs> the jockey, the postman on the jockey. I love your hat. I'm I love your hat. Are. Jesus Christ. Doesn't, bloody freezing. Yeah. Love the hat, hat Kino. I bet my nose is running all on me face. Have all you all been right? getting much abuse like of the, of the characters going around in the cars? I haven't, but there's videos going around where I've seen are. one, aye. Well, they're singing Postman Pat. Aye. Have you seen he comes and uh, bangs the bottle? He does, aye, aye. Yeah. Oh, All right, Keno, I hope you um, I know, I hope you get through your round pretty quick, Keno. Aye, I won't be long. I've like another six hours, I think. Aye. When's your next match? Tuesday. Tuesday night, eh? I'll be there, Tuesday. There's any press ups, like, my hands will be so cut on the deck. Aye, it's a bit wet down there as well, they're going to Keno. Yeah, I'll just do my jockey again. Go on. Oh, that's a jockey from the distance. You won't get wrong. You won't get wrong off the post office for doing the jockey, will you? No, because it's a good jockey. Alright, there we go. It's a good jockey. Hey, Keno, lad. Go on. Get yeah, warmed up, son. Yeah, yeah. Right, see you later, mate. Yeah, nice one, see man. you later. Have Good a good day. I'm here today in the Hilton Hotel and it's Sunderland versus Bristol Rovers and I'm going for a 3-0 home win. We have to keep winning the matches, hopefully. We can get promoted, automatic promotion is the name of the game. We've just seen Kano on his post round. What's going on here? There's some strange character in the distance. We've just seen Kano on his post round. He said 1-0 Sunderland home victory. I'm going 3-0 to Sunderland. Hopefully we can win this league. Bristol Rovers is a really difficult team to beat. And I'm hoping that we can take Bristol Rovers today. I hope the fans go home safe and sound, but with no points. Enjoy the game. We're here today at the Hilton Hotel. I'm having a cruise because it's cool outside. Winter's on the water because it's under the weather. Darren yeah. Fairweather is under the, the weather. weather. He's under the weather. Right on the water. There's no alcohol allowed for Winter. What's the score going to be today, Winter? 3 0 Sunderland. 3 0 Sunderland. The same as me. What, who's going to score? McGuire. Mike. I give McGuire another one as well. Exactly. But in the future, we're playing Coventry away. Can we beat Coventry down at Birmingham? I hope so on Sunday. St Andrews. Coventry don't have a ground. But they're playing really well in the second place. Good luck to Coventry, but hopefully we can beat them. Uh, next Sunday. Turn up the sun next Sunday against Coventry. Next Sunday, definitely. Uh. But the day Bristol Rovers, the Pirates, aye aye, Captain, uh. are in good form. They're in 15th, 13th place. But I'm sure we can take them. We can take Red them. Very white army. Very white army. I'm here today in the Hilton Hotel with Paul. This is Spooky Wolf's dad. YouTube channel vlogger. How are you doing, mate? Doing great. Good afternoon, out. Yes. So where's Spooky Wolf at? Spooky Wolf is in the north stand today with his uncle for a bit of a treat. Oh, right. Just a different stand, eh? Different stand, different view, different look at the goal. How's his channel doing? His channel's doing well. He's at 254 now. Excellent. Spooky Wolf YT, subscribe. Sunderland Vlogger, Spooky Wolf. Subscribe to the channel, check it out. Give the lad a subscribe. He's only a young lad doing a great job. So Paul, what's the score going to be the day? 3-1, Sunderland. 3-1 to Sunderland. Who's going to score? No, my predictions are terrible. So I might no, put well, a bet on. What I want to say is, are we going to win the league? No, we come what? second. Second, I'm happy with second. All the men with second. Nice one, Paul. Enjoy your day, and I hope Spooky Wolf grows with his channel in the future. Nice one. Subscribe. Hey, hey. Here with Ben and Rob, father and son combination. Top this the Rovers fans. What's the score prediction today? We're going to win one nil. We're going to win one nil. Yeah. I love the confidence. Three one to Sunderland. Three one to Sunderland. I love him even more, I love him even more. What's your favourite player? Because Bristol Rovers. Mine's Junior Gogo. Oh, Ray yes. Lambert. What's your thoughts on the manager? Because just coming in this just came in recently, Mourinho said he was going to be a really good prospect in the future. So how do you feel about your manager at this moment in time? I think given time, he'll do the if he's given the time, he'll do the job and I think next season we'll be flying. Excellent. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Why didn't your last manager leave to go to Mansfield? That was clear for me that you were in fourth place at the time. Can't possibly comment on why he left. No comment. No, why would you go from Mansfield? Oh. Go from Rovers to Mansfield. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Enjoy your stay. Yeah. Have a safe journey home, yes. Enjoy nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Take care. Enjoy. Cheers. Top the Bristol Rovers fans, enjoy your weekend, lads. Cheers. See you later. I'm here today with Adrian 
and Mandy, Bristol Rovers fans, what's the score going to be today? Ah, uh, three one to you. Three one to us. Yeah. Easy. I like this bloke. I like this bloke. A nice handshake, Mandy. Easy, easy win. Easy win. Two one. Two one. Two one. To us. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, what's the score going to be? Um, two all. Two all. Oh, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Who's your favourite player for Bristol Rovers? All of them. All of them. All of them. You love them all. All of them. How's the That's manager it. doing? Do you like your new manager? Yes, yeah, Bear. Johnston Park Harris. How, how, how do you like Phil Parkinson? I think he's doing a great job at this really? moment in time. Did you, say, did, you, did you say that earlier in the season? Did you say that earlier in the no, season? No, it was my second choice. My second choice. Who was, who was, first? Who, who was the first? My first choice was Kevin Phillips. Christ. We, had, we, we, had, we had a chance to come down for us yeah. as well. I said Phil Parkinson second. I think at one point in the campaign, we all had our doubts about Phil Parkinson, but he is he making will. us all eat humble pie. He will do all of you. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Fantastic yeah. job. Yeah, Have a safe day, mate. Crazy. A Jeez. nice safe journey oh, home. Yes, safe yeah. journey yeah. home. I'm 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 still I die. I'm 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 still I die. I know I am. I sure I am. I'm Rubens. Still I die. I'm here to deal with. I don't know who is it. It's Dino. SFC Fan TV top cameraman Dino. I've got one thing to say to you. So, before you go, what's the score prediction going to be? 1 0 Sunderland. 1 0 Sunderland. Uh, Who's going to score? It's going to be Gooch, on it? Gooch, Gucci Gooch. Gucci Gooch, 1 0 Sunderland. Can we win the league, Dean? Uh, Dean, Mr. Positive, can we win the league? Eh, uh, ah, uh, eh. With, with Billy Red being out, and I think we've got more injuries to come, I'm going to say no. No, no, no. no. I reckon we can come in the top two, though. If you go into the comedy match after the game, we lose a draw. Right. Come down if, and see Sean and Dino outside interviewing the top fans. If we win the comedy game, I'll see we go top two. If we don't win the comedy game, it's not top two, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're in the league. We're going to win the deal 3 0. He says 1 0. There's three points in the bag. Well, Fleetwood, uh, come on, the lads. Come on, come on McGuire, lad. Come on. Come on, McGuire's going to the judges. Come on, corner. Heal the king! Oh. Yes! Oh! Born is a good color. Joy born is a good color. You hear joy born is a good color. Joy born is a good color. Ah, sorry. It's nil nil half time. Second half just kicked off. What's your thoughts so far, mate? Great first half. First 15 minutes, I thought we were all over them. I thought we were we were two nil up by half time. It's gone flat. It's right. gone flat. We need to come back and bounce and take these to clean as the second half. Who's going to score though? They've all had the chances. Aye. We've all we, they've had next to no chances. We've got all the possession. We've got all the play. We've had all the chances. Final Just score, Richie Rich. I said three 0 Three 0 still three 0 I'm going to still score three 0 We won three one nil. Well, yeah, I'll take one 0 but I'd like to say more than that. Too. As long as we keep this. We're on the ball oh, now, we're coming in the, the box. box. Come, we're on the ball. Oh, come, on. come on, Maguire. Ball in the box. Oh, bit, no, Goes to the Denver. Out of line. Anything, as long as we keep that clean sheet, keep the run going. That's all we need. Yep. Unbeaten, unbeaten. Unbeaten, unbeaten. Coming to you winning. Wickham are winning, so we need to win this we match. We need to win this one as Coventry's winning. Yep. Definitely. Fleet would have beaten Portsmouth 1 0 at half time. So uh, Ipswich are getting beat 1 0 at Oxford. And we've got them on Tuesday night. Exactly, aye. Mr. Rovers down the 10 men with Hammond Mick. He just, just went straight over and just kicked him, tipped him over. No Jeez, reason whatsoever. No reason whatsoever. Oh, great. Mr. Rovers, 10 men. We have to win this match now, do we? Aye, aye. Go on, come on then. Final score. Cameron. 2-1. 2-1. They said they could be 2 We might win 2 now. 2-0. Two nil.
we go, it's finished Sunderland 3, Bristol Rovers nil. And I think somebody predicted 3-0. Not quite sure who that was. It was two or three people said 3-0. Well, the team today was exactly the same as it was at the last match apart from unfortunately Bailey Wright has been injured for the rest of the season and we all wish him all the best and hopefully a speedy return. But Oz Turk came in today. Now, it was a blustery, windy, stormy, wet day at Sunland yet again. Three storms and three weekends, absolutely awful weather. It was blue, blown wholly all over the place. There was bags everywhere on the pitch. There was there was rubbish all over the place. And in the first half, there was plenty of rubbish. But we said the game kind of was spoilt by the conditions in the first half. We had some great chances in the first half. But Bristol Rovers, to their due, defended really well. I'm in due, I'm in need of a strong bow. I know it's not my favourite cider, but it's what's in the fridge, so I've got no choice. But yes, in the first half, we did have a few opportunities, but we have to give Bristol Rovers great credit. They defended really well in the first half. They give 100%, you know, and, and they deserve to go in at half time nil nil. But I kind of knew the second half with the conditions, I thought they would sort of be helping us in the second half and giving us a great advantage in the second half. And eventually Bristol Rovers, by burning up all that energy, trying to defend and attack Sunderland in the first half, you know, doing their absolute utmost to keep it nil-nil in the first half. They used a lot of energy. And I do wish Bristol Rovers all the best for the, for the rest of the season. And I hope the manager, you know, keeps them safe. They will survive in League One. But in the second half, Sunderland came out and we came at Bristol Rovers like the gale force wind was blowing behind us, as it did. Oh, I need that. And the first goal was provided by Gooch. A good cross from the right hand side. I can't quite remember who gave the cross in, whether it was Maguire, whether it was 09. But Gooch was there to put the ball in the bottom of the net and the crowd went absolutely ecstatic because we knew the goal was coming and we needed that goal. But before the goal went in, Bristol Rovers had a man sent off, so they were down to 10 men. So they knew the backs were going to be up against it. And like I said, Gooch scored. And then not soon after that, somehow. Charlie White got the ball inside Bristol Rovers' half. I'm not sure if it was a bad pass from the Bristol Rovers player. And he was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And Charlie White rounded the goalkeeper and put the ball in the back of the net. And he celebrated like Billy O over on the right-hand side. Great goal, Charlie White. So it was Sunderland 2-0. And then not so long after that, what happened? We scored the third goal. Another great goal. And I'm trying to think who scored. Sweet Luke 09 made a 3-0. That's a great goal from Luke 09. So we won 3-0. And at the end of the day, it looks like a comfortable result. But at half time, it wasn't so comfortable. But at the end, it was 3-0 to Sunderland. And we move into fourth place because Peterborough didn't have a game today. Now all the rest of the results went against Sunderland. Wigan won 3-1. Coventry 1-2-1 and Rotherham scored a very, very late winner to keep a 2-1 to Rotherham. So we three points off the lead, three points behind Coventry, three points behind Rotherham and only a point or so behind Wigan and we're in fourth place. Now we need to keep these results going, you know, and I took my little nephew today. I will do a little vlog after this one with all the young lads in it because my nephew has been to his third home match in two seasons and... We've scored 10 goals. We've won three, drawn none, lost none, scored 10, let in none. 100% perfect record from Dan, my little lucky mascot nephew. Absolutely fantastic star. He's got his own YouTube channel called Dan SFC. Not fan TV, SFC Sunderland. So yes, he's been three times and a 100% record. Imagine if you and me had a 100% record at the Stadium of Light. I'm sure we'll be in the Premiership still. So there we go. It's finished 3-0. Just a quick review of the match because like, it's been a long day. I've been to work. Six mornings on the belt. Five o'clock in the morning. I'm absolutely shattered. And we have Fleetwood coming up on Tuesday. And I've got a lovely chicken dinner downstairs ready to fill me up. And I'm going to drown this. I'm going to drown. I'm not going to drown no solos whatsoever because I'm happy as Larry. I'm going to drown the chicken down with this in a second. And we'll see you later. But it was a great all-round team performance. The defence was fantastic. Centre-backs, goalkeeper, everybody in that team deserves 
9 out of 10. Great. Man of the match, man of the match. Who am I going to give man of the match? This is a tough decision. Man of the match. Well, I thought in the centre midfield, Power did well. But Dobson. Dobson played really well. And he's come back after a, a barren spell of a few matches. But of late, he's been superb in the centre of midfield. And he's keeping scouring on the bench. So, man of the match, for me, I'm going to go for... I'm going to give it to Dobson. You know, unsung hero. He did well in, in the centre of midfield. So, yes, Dobson's going to get it. But it's really hard to give man of the match because they all played so well. And the team collectiveness, including Phil Pattinson, who's doing a brilliant job as manager, have come really good now. Going really strong. Fleetwood next against the Joy Barton. We all hate Joey Barton. A bit of banter, Joey. We don't really hate it. We just want you to lose. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, SCFC Fan TV Sunday Bunch tomorrow afternoon. Adios. Oh, I forgot to give Luke Leonard a shout out. I'll do it in my next video. Luke Leonard, I'll give you a shout out next video. Where it began. Do, 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 do. I can't begin to know when. But when I know what's going on Do 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 Was it the spring? Then spring became the summer Who'd have believed you'd come along? Do 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 Hands do 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 Touching hands Reaching out